okay, I want to talk about paths and URLs in HTML. So once you once you start building web pages, very quickly you'll start needing to add links and images. And when you add an image or a link, you need to know where the location of those other files is. Right now, I have my web page and I've got an image tag and an anchor tag inside of here. The source of the image is just written as the file name and the href for the anchor is again just the file name. That means that this file and this file must be in the same folder as the file that I'm currently on, this HTML paths.html. So this file is inside the same folder. We've got, uh, oh actually misspelled that. Um, we're inside of a folder called video pages. Inside here we've got HTML paths.html. We have an index.html which is one that the anchor tag is pointing to and then there's also an avatar.png, this image right here. That's where it's located. So inside this location right here, this is my local host, this is what's right now on my computer. There we go. And I'm just going to append this in front of all of these. There we go. Those are the paths that we have. So avatar index.html, HTML paths.html. These three files are all inside the same folder. And then up one level, there's index.html. They're all paths starting from the root of the web server. So my project folder right now, brackets is opening up my project folder as the root folder for the web server. This first slash here is often referred to as the root folder. It's the beginning of everything that's accessible by this web server. If I tried to link to something outside of this folder, something that was higher up in the directory structure, I wouldn't be able to get to it. That's how web servers work. So how do we write these paths to point to different files? It's easy enough. If they're in the same folder, you can just put the file name. But there are absolute paths and there are relative paths. If you write something inside of source or inside of href, that starts with HTTP colon slash slash or HTTPS. This is considered to be an absolute path. You, there's no question about where it begins. You're giving the very start. If it starts with a single slash, a single forward slash, that means start at the root directory. And there's no equivocation. It doesn't matter what page you're on. If this is what the file starts with, the file path starts with, one single slash or this, it means you are saying go to the root folder and start from there. Follow the path to the file. Relative paths are where we don't have that slash or HTTP in front. We're just giving the file name or if we do dot slash we're saying start at the current folder. These are very often the same thing but there is an instance where they can be different. I'll give you, I'll get to that in a minute. Two dots and the slash means go up one folder level. So here's an example right here. This is the page that we're on. We're inside of video pages. If I wanted to link to this file, the index.html, that's one step higher up. In that case, what I would need to do is I would have to add the dot dot slash this in front of it. So right now, let's take a look over here. If I click on this, it's still the one that's in the same folder. I click, this is the page. All right, now if I change this and I say dot dot slash save, we're saying go up one folder and find a file called that. So I'll refresh, click it again, there we are. It's a different page. It's not the one that had the big Deadpool uh, image on it. So no Deadpool image, come back, change this, Save it, refresh, and click again. Deadpool. So we're changing where we're going by changing what's written inside of here. And the same rules for how you write the paths apply, whether it's images or hrefs or anything else. One dot means current folder. Two dots means go up one folder. File name by itself means start from 
inside the HTML file or the CSS file that you're in right now. Now, I said there was one variation on this, and that is if you add a base element, there is a base element that you can put inside the head, and inside of here, what you do is you define what is the current folder, basically, for everything that's on this page. I could come in here and say, this is the base URL. So if I'm giving a relative path avatar, it's going to be looking in this folder for it. All right, so let's save, let's refresh and find out. Hey, it's gone. Now, if I click on this, it's going to be pointing to this index.html, not the one that's inside video pages. So I'm not getting the one with the Deadpool image. And that is simply because I added this base element up inside the head has to be inside the head that we put this base. Now everything is relative to that. If you use a relative path, it's relative to this. And there's one other attribute that we can add inside of here, and that is the target attribute. You can see I've got these four possible values. If I say underscore self for the value for target, oops, I've uh, done it outside the quotation marks there. If I do that, then it's going to act like it normally would. It's going to load it inside my current page. If we change this, let's go back to uh, video pages so our image works again. There we go. So image uh, video pages is now the root. So this avatar and index.html, these will be pointing to the ones that are inside of video pages. There it is. Our image is back and this is working again. Changing the target, instead of underscore self, let's go to underscore blank. Okay, so with blank set, when I click on this, what it's going to do is it's going to open a new window or new tab with this link. And there it is. It's opened up the new one. The other two values, the top and parent, underscore top, underscore parent, have to do with frames. If you're building a page that's built with frames, then you're referring to the top frame or the parent frame. Um, you won't see that very often anymore. Not a lot of people use frames in their uh, websites anymore. Uh, right now, self and blank. Those are the two values. Self is the default. Uh, and this will apply to all links that are on the page. So if you wanted to always have every link open up a new page, you could add target blank here. But I would recommend you either omit the target or leave it set as self. Okay, hope that helps you out understanding paths and URLs and the relative and absolute paths. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.